everybody Joseph Green Mountain Gold Trap so the last video um, the one that at the end it has the Eastern Outdoors Expedition portion of the video um, but that's the one that I show these pieces that I found that I cannot figure out what they are I've got a few people saying it looks like pyrite um, maybe as BJ said the pyrite they find in Georgia is heavy I've never known it to be a heavy I mean, when you get it in your pan, which any prospector gets it in their pan, it just kind of flips and flickers down the pan. It's not really, it's not really that heavy. It moves fairly easy. But anyway, so I have this very large collection of hematite. So I knew I could find a piece that was going to be roughly the same size. I mean, this is a, this is a big old Maxwell house jug and it weighs a lot <laughs> it's very heavy so I found this piece it's actually a little bit bigger than this now when I took a picture in that last video I had it sitting on top of here next to a clad coin ring for size comparison that clad co coin ring is extremely small it's like a size six so that gives you an idea, of course, seeing it in my hand, you can tell that it's not that big. But yet, it weighs 1.213 ounces. I mean, that's just oddly heavy for its size. point. Two one four. Okay. Now this piece of hematite that, as you can see, is slightly bigger. It's a little bit higher and a little bit bigger. And hematite is rather heavy. Zero point nine nine zero. Zero point nine eight nine. What's it going to be? Okay, 0 0.990. So, I have no clue. The two bigger pieces that I brought home that I also showed in the upper right hand corner of the screen on that last video, you can't put them on the scale and get a reading. It, it's just that they're too heavy. So, I can't even tell you how heavy those are. Too heavy for the scale. Um, somebody asked, could it be lead? So... And that was before I posted the video. So what I did was I took map gas and I put this torch to it and left it there and left it there and left it there and left it there. All it did was heat up the rock. It didn't melt. Map gas burns really hot. So if it was lead, it would have melted. I took my magnet. Hematite is not magnetic, and nor is that. It does not. This is a pretty strong magnet. So, it's not magnetic. Um, of course, pyrite apparently is not magnetic either. So, I have no clue. Part of me wants to crush it and see. I mean, there is, like with pyrite, there is a geological connection not that pyrite and gold are the same but they kind of get found in the same areas at times so i've been told by people who know stuff um and also white clay kaolin clay there's a geological connection there as well and that stuff was in like a white clay as a matter of fact those two bigger pieces still have white clay stuck to them and you can see a little bit of that white clay right there so I don't, I just, I don't know, I don't know, I'm baffled. This one actually has a little speck of quartz in it as well. Uh, I don't know. I mean, looking at it in the jeweler's loop, it's clearly not gold. That I can tell. So I have no clue. But anyway, thanks you, thanks to everybody for watching and for leaving your comments in the last video and taking a guess. 
Um, one gentleman who I've never seen on the channel before said silver question mark. Um, I don't know. My hope is that there might be pyrite, or not pyrite, um, platinum. Because there has been platinum found. But that would be nice because platinum's worth more than gold. And somebody showed me some native platinum. See now most platinum is like a like a silvery looking. But this other guy showed me a piece of native platinum from New Hampshire and it kinda had a goldish look to it. And I've never heard of that, so either he didn't know what he was talking about or I don't know. But I looked at it in the jeweler's loop and it had a really odd structure to it and it was kinda goldish looking sort of. And that's what this looks like, the same as what I saw that he showed me. So I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't. I want to crush it, but I don't want to crush it. Maybe I'll take a piece of one of the bigger ones. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you to all the Green Mountain Gold Trap subscribers, who I call family. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Leave a comment. Click that bell for notifications and... Uh, I'll answer every comment that comes in. Take care, folks.